we're going to go through how to emboss and how to wrap sketches around 3D objects. I'm going to use both Onshape and Fusion. We'll go ahead and we'll get started with Onshape. So I'll create a new document and I'm just going to call it Sketch Wrap Practice. I'll go ahead and click Sketch and then choose the top plane and normalize it and I'll just take the circle. I think I'll just keep these simple. I'm going to make it a three inch circle, finish that sketch, and then I'll go ahead and extrude the sketch. And let's make it a three inch extrusion. Something going like that. The planes can get confusing, so I think I'll turn the, the visibility off on those. And now what I'll do is I'm going to create a tangent plane. So I'm going to click the plane icon right here, and I'll click in my plane type box, I think the default is always offset, but I'm going to use tangent. I'll click tangent and I'm going to come down and click the side of that cylinder somewhere. And you can see that there it is, it puts it in there for me. I'll go ahead and hit the check mark now. I'll rotate it around and I'm going to click sketch and click that plane that I just put in. Again, you can press the N key and that kind of squares things up for us. I'll go ahead and choose text and I'm just going to draw, drag a box right here. And I'll type in engineering. And then I'll click the check mark. And slightly rotate it so I can see it a bit better. Now I'll go to the top. On the default, it shows the transform icon, but I want to change over to the wrap icon. So I'm going to choose wrap. And the tool is going to be the word. And the target is going to be the side of the cylinder. Now I do need to go into solid mode here. Choose my thickness. Now remember, if I want to engrave, I could change that to a negative number, right? But right now, I think I'll just leave it at 0.1 and I'll hit the green check mark. And now that sketch is wrapped. Let's take a look at the fusion side of things. So it's again, the same kind of concept. Let's check it out. I'll start by selecting a plane to work in and then choose the circle tool. I'll use this and make it three inches. I'll go ahead and extrude that three inches as well. Go to construct and I can choose tangent plane. And then that's fine for now. I'll click sketch, come over here and then create, there's the text area. And I'll do the same kind of thing. So I'm gonna click in there and I'll type in the word engineering. Click okay. We'll go ahead and finish the sketch. Now, where it's a little different, we could extrude, but the easiest form to do is actually to go to emboss. So we'll go to emboss. I'm gonna click the word. And then for faces, I'll click select and click the side of the cylinder. This is where I need to decide, do I want it to come out like it's doing right now? Or do I want to engrave it? And I could go either way with that and press OK. So there you see on shape or fusion. Now one one extra step you could go with it is do some project like this, a puzzle tube. And I do have a video out on how to create that puzzle tube, how to make it all work. It's a really neat project.